So just a quick overview of our Black Hills Rally adventure, day two. Went around Denver, went on up to the 25, hit the 85, and our final destination was Sturgis, South Dakota. And uh, we woke up in the morning and as usual, Masako always puts on a nice spread. Get on the road, skirt around Denver. It's a nice little road here. It's um, Route 6. Goes along the creek. It's absolutely beautiful. Be a great motorcycle road. Got a lot of tunnels. Be nice if you had loud pipes going through here. It's the best thing about tunnels. Yeah, so the 128 over there in Utah and the 6 before you get into Denver. Two amazing, really great motorcycle roads. This gives you an idea just what it kind of looked like. They're doing some construction. And so a little bit of, uh, there were some detours going on. So I, I can imagine in the middle of the week, this road probably isn't as crazy as it is right now while we were on it. Not as much traffic, but there was construction going on. And then once you head out of uh, Cheyenne, you get into um, Wyoming, you hit a beautiful prairie, grasslands. Some of the landscape and skies just beautiful and you know you're getting close to Sturgis when you start seeing lots of motorcycles on the road <laughs> and we finally found our campsite our campground a place called kickstands can't say enough good things about kickstands it's a great, great venue. That's a beautiful. Showers, really nice site. showers, laundry mat. And a lot of great people. First day we drove. As soon as we got there, they, they uh, registered and took us to our campsite. And Sako and I got set up. And just to check things out, the official rally hadn't started yet. So we just went downtown to see how things were shaping up. And it was already getting pretty crowded. There were still vendors setting up and people rolling in. Things were already starting to happen, but it's still uh, quiet compared to the way it's going to be over the weekend. As you can see, it's a very quiet. Things aren't officially rolling yet. I'm gonna get here early. Just so we can kind of settle in and sort of get our bearings and figure out where we're gonna go and what we're gonna see. I'm hoping to check out some really good motorcycle shows. Chopper shows, see some music, go listen to some music, see some live bands, I mean, all kinds of vendors, Selling all kinds of stuff. I'm trying to find a place to park. And everybody we talked to 
very nice. Just some random guys. Hey, where are you from? Oh, we're from, you know, Texas. We're from, uh, gosh, one guy we talked to was from New York. Another guy was from Washington State. Uh, we got some uh, New Jersey. And uh, can't wait to really start checking out all these vendors' tables. I like looking at the knives because it gives me some ideas on how to design, <laughs> how to how to make the come up with some good designs, you know. <laughs> I think in this knuckle saloon they actually have a boxing ring, and people can go in there and box if they want. Um, <laughs> I'm probably getting too old for that. I'd get beat up. Lots of leather everywhere. Some groovy tie dye. When it comes to getting service at, at certain places, I don't know. It's it's a little. There's just so many people waiting in line to you know get food or get a drink, and so you know the the, the people the servers are a little short <laughs> sometimes. And then uh, all of Masako's friends are warning her to be careful of all the crazy bikers. And look at this, one of the nicest guys. H.A. guy. <laughs> he was admiring Chopper. <laughs> I've always said, the only thing better than people watching is watching people's on, people on bikes. And there's a lot of people to see on bikes. <laughs> I can't wait to check out more bikes while we're here. I'm going to try to get some on video and share. Well, thank you all for watching. And I hope you can uh, check back with us and see how our, our adventure is shaping up. See what we get into. Thanks. See you later.